Welcome guys, back to the channel here at Barry Charles. Well, what's happening at the moment here in New Zealand is the Air New Zealand stock is going to the toilet. Or is it Air New Zealand come out with a rights offer for every one share you own, you can buy two more existing shares for a price of 53 cents. Now, is this a time to buy or is it a time to run? Well, for many people now, it's probably a bit too late to sell out if you really want to sell out. I think you, if you can find the money, it's a good time to buy. Even though this, the share price has dropped to 95 cents from as high as $1.50, the shares you can buy here are 53 cents each. It'll make you big time. Just to give you an example of what sort of the amounts we're talking about here if you say you got 10,000 shares here in New Zealand you have the opportunity to get another 20,000 on top of your 10,000 shares and instead of paying earlier a dollar 50 for them you are paying 53 cents for them now you could argue that the price will drop by that amount so are you really getting a bargain that is the little bit of the argument here on whether you should be buying you're really just going to be in the same sort of place are you really getting a bargain because you're going to have 66 percent more shares than you currently have but you also the price of your existing shares are going to drop quite considerably so are you even going to break even that is the that is the worry for obviously your investors out there like myself but i'm taking the faith that in new zealand regardless of what the price is now i think this price will eventually go back to three dollars more than likely go up to five eventually once they bring it back a dividend you might be waiting 10 years but if you can load the boat now it could be the great time to buy so what I was trying to explain there before, so if you've got 10,000 shares in the company now, you have the opportunity to buy 20,000 more shares at 53 cents each, then have get you 30,000 shares in total if you take up the offer. Now, if you don't take up the offer, what will happen with your share? Basically, with the new shares allocated, you will lose out 66%. This is how much you're going to lose. 66% of your wealth and percentage of owning the company. It may not necessarily be that high, but that, that in terms of the percentage of what you currently own is how much you're going to drop when the sale is over. So do you want to be diluted by 66%? It may not necessarily be that low because it's not completely a full company buyout in terms of how much the shares are actually worth. So you have to do a bit more research on that. So it might only be 30%, but still you're getting diluted. So if you don't buy the shares, you're going to have two shares, or well actually three shares less than what you had. So that's the danger here. If you just stay with what you got, you're going to get majorly diluted. But if you can buy some shares and say the final price is about 95 cents, well, you've just bought those shares for 53 cents and they come back into that into the fold there wow now question mark here is is this new air new zealand shares that they've created actually going to go up the same as the current stock now that's another argument that you need to do your research on is it exactly the same company you're buying into or are you buying just a little bit of the company i believe it is the full company but you've got to do your due diligence before you buy these shares because if it's not the full company it's not worth it for me so you've got to do your research and check that out before you buy the rights off but what am i doing simple as that well i've been toing and throwing and i've only got another week or so to decide what to do but i, I think i'm gonna to have to buy if i can buy them all that's what i'm looking at but there's quite a bit of money that a lot of people have got to find especially if you've got a lot invested in in New Zealand you might not have 10k 20k lying around so what do you do do you just buy some of it I think you just buy as much as you can not financial advice but buy as much as you can with what you can afford and do it I really want to buy as much as I can now and I probably will not buy any more shares for quite a long time in my personal opinion I don't think it's gonna make you billions and billions of dollars if you think this is the stock to buy but if it goes from 53 cents to five dollars well you're 10x pretty much so that's the, that's the thing you got to look at with the pricing when you go to buy Air New Zealand. What are the cons to buying this? What is Air New Zealand going to be around forever? I'd say it would be, but there's a there's a question mark that they could go bankrupt because they're just struggling to get out of this, and they keep using the crown in New Zealand to take loans, and they already had a loan with New Zealand. Why would you take another loan at a higher interest rate? That's a big worry for investors, and that's why a lot of investors sold out. They already had a loan which would be at a better rate. So why would you pay like one billion to pay off that loan, and then you just get another loan, the same thing, and you're paying more interest? It just does not make sense. 
sense. It's one thing I'm not understanding here with that investment. That is my biggest worry. Why would you go from maybe say, let's say for instance, because uh, it's a uh, business loan is always higher, say from 10% and now all of a sudden they've gone to 15%? So they've gone up 50% in terms of what they've got to pay in the loan scheme over the whole loan? Crazy stuff. That, that is a worry for you Air New Zealand investors out there. It's my biggest worry in this reef restructuring yes they might be paying off some debt and stuff like that but they're still going to be paying off this other debt here that they'll that they'll need to pay off but hopefully getting rid of most of the big debt that is the main thing if they're getting rid of the most of the main debt we're safe now competition well Air New Zealand's the only one in New Zealand um there has been other companies trying to come in there but really the only flights really come is Jetstar they'll be our biggest competitor probably then you got Qantas and then a whole lot of like Emirates and all these other ones that fly in and out of New Zealand. But yes, in New Zealand. Could they have a monopoly on the country? Is that something in New Zealand should do? That's something I've always thought about. Should Air New Zealand be the only planes coming in and out of New Zealand? Now, is this even possible? So that means Air New Zealand would have to have direct flights, which they already do for New York and Los Angeles and, and all these big places. But like, can they take over? Well, probably the biggest question here is you got Hawaiian Airlines. Like, can you take that space and actually land there? Like some, some places, they can't land. That's the problem. They've got to stop somewhere and then fly there. Well, this is something I think Air New Zealand maybe should look at, but then is there competition? If you don't have competition, the prices are going to go higher, higher, and higher, which would be good profit for you in New Zealand. So could they take over every single flight that comes into New Zealand. Every single flight, just let that sink in. This is where money could be made for Air New Zealand. Every single flight that comes in, even from Australia, is Air New Zealand flight. Now, would that ever happen? I don't think so. But imagine that Air New Zealand had a monopoly on the market. You could only buy, say you come back from Australia, you can only fly with Air New Zealand. Now, could they make that a rule? That is an interesting one to think about. Okay, you can't, I wouldn't say you could stop the other way. Well, that'll be a bit of an argument. You can't really say Air New Zealand because only come back in on in New Zealand that'd be an interesting one because you can't have it both ways you can't say oh yeah in New Zealand you gotta just fly off with in New Zealand what about Qantas Qantas would argue well if you're doing that then Quant you can only fly back to Australia with Qantas so their monopoly is probably not going to happen but but um, but the, let's just a uh, crazy well it might not be that crazy but an idea out there for Air New Zealand imagine just taking over the whole marketplace and that's it you fly to Air New Zealand and that's it that would be the ultimate dream but in reality probably not but getting back to the shares what what should you do well I think it's too late to sell to be honest you can sell but you're probably losing a lot of money on what you what you brought the shares for especially if you brought way back when they were like three dollars so that's that, that would be a no from me but um i'll be trying to buy as much shares as i said before and if you've got money left over stockpile all these leftover people that aren't, aren't taking up the offer it's an ultimate opportunity to get as much shares as possible and set and forget because if you're long-term focused and it could be longer than 2026, but that's when they aim to have a dividend return. If a dividend can return back to a 10% where it used to, oh my goodness, we will be living it up here on the channel. Our lives will be amazing. That's why you got to subscribe, subscribe, so we can make all the money we can here from Air New Zealand. Not financial advice. If you can remember to smash the like button, because I love you all, and this channel is the greatest for finance. Now, in New Zealand, to me, is a very good buying opportunity for the people that have shares in the company. But you have to look at the risks involved here. As I said before, is the debt really sustainable? Will they be able to afford if it goes up even more? The rates just keep going up and up and up over time. Because at the moment, they're running at a loss. Will they get back to profitability? While the world is supposedly opening up in terms of flights, unvaccinated people are able to come as well shortly. That's going to be an interesting argument argument for some people they don't like that but it looks like the world is opening up so money the profitability should be returning for Air New Zealand but there's a long-term sustainable growth that's been the problem with Air New Zealand can they get long-term growth that's going upwards not steady or even a little decline at the moment but can you get it steady going up and up and away that is what you got to think about if you really think if you really want to make big money on any stock not just in new zealand any stock in america no matter where it is in the world is this company growing big time in the next 10 years i'd argue in new zealand is not 
and that's why it's not a super big but i just like the fact that it's a new zealand company this is the new zealand company for me you had to pick you have got to pick something this was affordable and this beautiful opportunity to buy more at a discounted rate is a very good opportunity if i'm with you i hope you like this video on barry charles about any new zealand shares we'll have plenty more videos coming up later enjoy and check out all my other videos i have a lot on the u.s stock market come check it out here at barry charles until next time sayonara take care out there